Welcome back beer tubers today taking a look at another beer I got from Wes in a trade. This is Thirsty Dogs Siberian Night aged in bourbon barrels. I previously reviewed Thirsty Dogs Imperial Stout that I got in a previous trade as well. Really enjoyed it so when I heard I could get my hands on the bourbon barrel aged version I yeah definitely wanted to get a bottle of this. It's aged 11 months in bourbon barrels they say coming in at 10.9%. They don't mention the uh, the types of bourbon barrels they use, but yeah, look, really looking forward to this beer. It pours out pitch black, and you know, it's a Russian Imperial Stout. The the head on there's, you know, it's it's fairly dark, just kind of straight brown color. Uh, it's got some pretty good carbonation to the beer, leaving some alcohol legs. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's definitely got uh, a lot of bourbon. A lot of like nice chocolate notes. That's the, the almost the thing that almost overpowers the bourbon. Like vanilla, nutty chocolate. A little bit of like a dark fruit, a pleasant sort of cherry note in there. The the roast level is not too overpowering on the nose. It's there, it's just not as prone as like this chocolate nutty, almost like a peanut butter character, which is really cool. Kind of goes with that the caramel from the bourbon and maybe some of the caramel malts that are in the beer. So it smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's good. It's it's not super intense though with, with the, the bourbon barrel. So I don't know if they're using the wettest, freshest bourbon barrels. Um, getting some of the wood notes though on the beer, but not like, not like a crazy, like someone poured some bourbon into the regular beer type of effect from the barrel. So up front you get the big, huge, semi-sweet chocolate note. Um, there's also some bitter chocolate in there as well, but a lot of sweet chocolate kind of transitions into this really nutty caramel character. Start getting some of that, that bourbon coming through a bit more. So you kind of have that, that caramely bourbon aspect. Um, the finish has some of that coffee-like roastiness. It has some oak tannins that help dry out the beer for 10.9%. You know, you have a nice sweetness up front, but there is balance to the beer in the back end. Also in the mix is that dark fruit component. There's like this raisin fig note and then a slight like cherry note. This kind of mid palate that adds some nice complexity to it. Um, it's weird on the bottle, they recommend serving at 44 degrees, which I think is far too cold for this beer. And I chilled it down to probably somewhere in the 50 to 55 range. And I, I would say I want to drink it a little a little warmer than that, but it's a warm day here, so it's going to warm up in the glass. But, you know, at cooler temperatures, I think you're going to lose some complexity with the beer. Um, big fan of the base beer, the bourbon barrel aged version. Does it elevate it to a different level? I don't think it elevates it to the next level. I think it kind of just, it, it's still at a very high level where it is. Um, I, I like that sort of nutty uh, peanut butter sort of... Um, you don't get a ton of vanilla on it though, but you get and you don't get a ton of oak, but it's there. It adds nuances. It changes the beer. It kind of mellows it out. Still get a little bit of an alcohol kick to it, but so it's still a still a great beer. I don't know if uh, it justifies you know being a, a really expensive uh, bottle, twelve ounce bottle. You know you're paying about a buck an ounce for it, but um, yeah it. I don't know, it's one of those beers where I don't think every uh, bourbon barrel aged beer is going to be better than the base beer, and this might be another example of it, but still still a very good beer, and you know, do recommend it, uh, just be aware that, you know, it doesn't take that next leap being in a bourbon barrel, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think if you've tried it. Does the bur Do you prefer the bourbon barrel aged version, or do you prefer the regular version, especially considering the cost difference between the two? Anyway, it's going to wrap up this review. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.